October 21st, 1997, including our uh, increasingly annoying extra passenger, Dr. Smith. As yet, we have no inkling of our true position. The period during which we traveled in hyperdrive beyond the speed of light could have carried us through space and time to almost any part of the galaxy. Now, as Major West continues to search for some clue to our present location, there's little for any of us to do but rest and wait and hope. I thought you might like this. Thank you. Any luck? Not yet. Shouldn't you be getting some sleep? I can't close my eyes. Not until we know something. You'll be getting pretty sleepy. That could almost be the great galaxy of Andromeda, couldn't it? Yeah. Although, from where we sit, it could almost be anything. Funny how easy it was to identify the galaxies back at school. I used to just sit there and rattle them off. Do you want to go home, Judy? I never did like school. Come in. Nor shall death brag, thou wondrous in his shame, when in eternal lions to time. So long as you can breathe your eyes. Shakespeare. Good night, sweet. Good night, Dad. Sleep by now. I've been trying to figure our position. Well, if Atlas and Taurus are lost, needs the same as ours. And if our bearing deviation is not more than five degrees, Don should be picking up a signal about now. Well, maybe you better tell him. <laughs> deny me the simple pleasure I have derived from presenting all of you with a robot in full working order. Dr. Smith, why didn't you ask for permission to tamper with that robot? Tamper? When every bit, every circuit, every last contact in it is as familiar to me as my own name. I don't tamper, uh, Dr. Robinson. I create new pathways in cybernetics for our little friends. Oh, it's pathways. The kind of pathways that could have wrecked this ship and almost cost us all our lives. But that's absurd. I was in the same danger as everyone else. Now you listen to me, Dr. Smith. How you came to be on this ship when we took off doesn't really matter right now. But just remember one thing. As far as I'm concerned, you're a stowaway. You're going to be treated as such. <laughs>